Hey my zombie, so I'm finally getting around to doing the music tag and I apologize because I was tagged by Midnight Owl about a million years ago to do this. <laughs> and so um, we have 20 questions, let's see how many of them I can answer. <laughs> so we're going to start and question one is which bands slash artists do you own the most albums by? I can't really tell you. The only thing I can say is that my teddy bear has a whole shitload of records and I really can't give any off the top of my head, but the ones that I know, um, I got a Susie and a Banshees record and a Smiths record and I'm thinking of all these albums at once, but I can't get them out, but I'm just going to say a lot. I just can't name them. <laughs> Question two. What was the last song you listened to? The last song I had listened to was The Cure A Hundred Years, I think the name of the song was. Because um, my tablet has an automatic, it has an alarm and it goes to Pandora and it plays The Cure radio station. And so that was the last song I heard because I had to turn it off. <laughs> Number three, what's in your CD player right now? Uh, there's nothing in my CD player right now. Everything I, I use an auxiliary cord and my phone or my tablet to listen to Pandora. I've lost a lot of CDs through the years and when we went through a fire we lost a whole lot of stuff too. So Teddy Bear either make us some CDs, he'll burn some off the computer or I just listen to Pandora mostly. Question 4. What was the last show you attended? The last show I attended was a few months back we got to see JFA and some other bands um, in Austin and one of them, um, one of the bands that I remember seeing was called Sober Days. They were pretty good. They were like uh, um, Circle Jerks and like some other bands. Um, they even sound like JFA in a way. Um, but they were they were a cool band. They're new. I don't know if they're new but um, they're a pretty cool band and I wouldn't mind seeing them again. But we got to hang out with the band with JFA. So that was a really cool show and they were handing us beers and all that good stuff. And then I even caught my dad in the trailer with some old assholes. <laughs> and I was uh, telling him I was going to beat the shit out of them. <laughs> so yeah, my dad's an ass sometimes. But yeah, all he was doing was sitting down while they were sitting. They had him sit in the middle. <laughs> good times. And question five. What was the greatest show you've ever been to? Out of all the shows that I've been to, I gotta say it was when we got to see GBH last year, and that was in Austin as well. Cause that was that was basically, if I can remember right, that's like the first big show or not big show, but that was the first good show that me and my teddy bear had went to together. So it was pretty fun. And me and my dad was there too as well, and we drank and everything. And I even went to um, I wanted to um, take a picture with the lead singer. And I ripped open the, <laughs> I ran back there, Teddy Bear was running behind me, and, and um, I ripped open the curtain to backstage, and there goes the lead singer to GBH just eating Chinese food, and I'm all <laughs> going crazy, can't hear a word I'm saying, but I'm like, I love you, <laughs> like a dork. And so we got pictures with him and everything, and he was pretty cool. I feel bad that I interrupted him eating, but... He's a he's a skinny little old man now. It's sad, but yeah, got to got to meet him and somewhat talk to him, and then we got to meet the lead singer to Total Chaos. But I think my teddy bear scared him because I wanted to take. I got a picture with him as well, and um, it, it was funny because like he was all smiles, and then teddy bear came up right behind me, and then he got all scared and he froze up. <laughs> it was funny, but yeah, that was a very good show, and um, I would love to see GBH again. Question six. What What's the worst show you've ever been to? Again, this show was in Austin. It was supposed to be some kind of punk fest that was going on. And it was in the um, same place that we got to see JFA play in Sober Days. And we, um, but they weren't there. There were some like local bands. And the, I, all of the bands, except for one, and I'm wearing the shirt right now, if I'm not mistaken, they played there. And there's Hans Grober and the Die Hards. That band's fucking awesome. The singer has so much fucking energy. It, I mean, I would love to see them again, too. That's another band. But the rest of the bands there were shitty. They took an hour each to tune up. 
it was it was crappy i don't know it had more of a hippie feel to it and um it was just it was just weird it, it was actually not even a good time the only reason why we basically were there was for the free beer which turned out to be free foam <laughs> but yeah that was the worst show ever except for that one band um hans grober and the die hard die hard so yeah that i would never go to a punk fest in austin ever again unless like big old bands big time old bands were there because fuck that that was a waste of money anyways now i'm mad <laughs> um you see number seven what's the most musically involved you have ever been well a million years ago i was in a punk band and we were called the antisocials and i was singer i didn't want to be a singer but i just kept going to that and um so I did vocals for them, and we were together since the ending, no, since the ending of middle school all the way to my early twenties, and then we just finally broke apart. Um, I do miss it. I do miss having fun playing in like the bars and all that stuff. But yeah, just I guess the world took me took me for another took me to a, down another road. I guess the world. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I was vocals for antisocials for a few years. And then let's see. Ah, I'm missing them. I'm sorry, zombies. Question eight What show are you looking forward to? Now, I'm going to sound really, really dumb, but I want to go to San Antonio October 1st because my dad said that there's this um event happening with um the exploited he said was going to be there and i can't think of any of the other bands i was actually supposed to ask him before i did this video but um i heard a lot of, from what he told me there's going to be a lot of old bands playing there and i really want to go see them and i really want to go to that so i'm already requesting the first and the second off of like of october and i'm gonna Hopefully get to go because I really want to go and I want to go I want I want to meet Wadi because I know I will not understand a word that man says but it would just be cool to um, take a picture with him as well and see if he's as cool as the lead singer of GBH and JFA but we'll see and I hope keep my fingers crossed um, that I get to go because I would love to bring you guys too and I think that would be a pretty neat show but then again I don't know <laughs> so question 10. See, it skipped. Sorry. Sorry. Question 10. What's your favorite band shirt? Well, I have a few of them, so I'm putting my phone down right now. And I'm going to show you really quickly. And these are some, some of the shirts I'm saving for my zombies because I kind, they kind of shrunk. <laughs> but um, I'm going to um, start off with my Suicidal Tendencies shirt. And all my shirts are going to my zombies. And Teddy Bear has shirts of his own that so hopefully goes to our other zombie, Daniel. This one I got at the show in Austin. Let me see if you can see it. And I got to cut it and take it in. And I haven't gotten around to it because I don't know what I want to do with it. I barely cut this shirt today so because it's so damn hot outside. So I made it into a tank top. And then this I've had for a million years. My TSOL shirt. Then this I've cut a million and one ways till I couldn't cut it no more. It's my foreskin shirt. And I added the straps to it. I did everything with dental floss. <laughs> and I cut it and cut it and cut it. And I even tied knots in the back of it if you could see. Because I know my lighting sucks. But yeah, this one is my favorite, favorite band shirt that I don't know if I want to give to my zombies. <laughs> now this one... My teddy bear gave it to me a way long time ago for my birthday. It's my Sid Vicious shirt. Little did I know it was my dad's shirt and he fights for it back all the time and he's not getting it back. I'm sorry dad, I love you. But um, I have to hide it because um, this is going to go to my zombies as well. But my dad wants it and I'm trying to not let him have it. No, <laughs> he's not getting it back. Not without a fight. Then we have my cramp shirt that I've had for a million years. And it's so thin, it's like if I wear it, I feel like it's just gonna fall off. <laughs> and then this shirt, I haven't decided what I wanted to do. It's a little bit big on me now, thank God, but 
I gotta take it in some more and I'm gonna add straps to it. And it has my little interior on it. And then last but not least, my black flag shirt that I've had for a million years as well. And all I did was I sewed it up with dental floss and then I made holes in the back. You're not gonna be able to tell so I'm doing that. And yeah, so those are my favorite band shirts. And I have a lot more that I want to get from Teddy Bear and I really want to sew them up and wear them but can't do that because then Zombie Baby will be no more. <laughs> and question 11, what musician would you like to hang out with for a day? Now I throw everybody off with this. I'm obsessed with old school punk. I love punk. I live. I used to live and breathe punk, and I love goth music, and I love like dark wave. I love all that stuff. I'm mixed, <laughs> but I would love. This is what throws people off. My family gives me a hard time about it. Everyone that I know and love gave me a hard time about it growing up. But I would love to meet Morrissey because growing up I didn't always have the easiest life and. I've been through some stuff and it seems like, and my sister will never admit this if she was here, but the reason how I found Morrissey was through her because I used to sneak in her room and go through her records and I used to listen to her Cure records, I used to listen to all her um, punk um, suicidal tendency records, all her JFA records, all her um, gutter mouth, Every, I would always go through her stuff because I used to like to copy, I used to copy my sister because I loved how she looked and everything so she's the reason why I got into punk and she's also the reason why I stumbled on some Morrissey records and when I played them I I cannot say how much of how much wind got knocked out of me because every word that man sings is something about me or it relates to something about me so I swear he sings about me I'm sorry everyone <laughs> but I would love to meet him for a whole day I Right now, I would say I would love to pick his brain and just talk to him about what made him write this song or, you know, just the, just, you know, everyday life questions, I guess. But in reality, I know if I were to meet that man, I would probably start crying and I would freeze up and not be able to talk. I wouldn't even remember to, um, remember my own, na my own name. So yeah, I would love, love, love to spend the day with Marcy, but I don't know if he would be irritated by the fact that I would just stare at him. <laughs> I wouldn't mean to, but <laughs> that's what I know would happen. Question 12. Who is one musician or group you wish would make a comeback? I honestly... When I heard the Misfits got back together the, with Danzig, well, I don't know if it was permanent or it was just to tour or what. I was happy about that. But there's... I don't... There's no one that stands out in my head right now that maybe it's because I'm on the camera or what, but there's no band that's been um, standing out to me that I would want them to come back together or not. I don't know. I really don't know. I'll probably I'll probably know the answer to that later, <laughs> but right now I don't know. I have no no preference or no clue. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, question 13. Who is one band slash artist you never seen live but always wanted to? The Smiths I've never seen live and Morrissey I've never seen live. And if I saw them, there you go. I thought I knew the answer, right? Um, so back to the other question. Um, the Smiths and with Morrissey, I would love to see them back together. And if they have been back together, I'm very sorry. I'm not in the loop right now. But... I would love to see them play. I've never seen them live. I have never seen Morrissey live. But if I saw them together, that's the band I would want to see come back. And that's the band I want to see live. Name four, Question 14. Name four or more Flawless albums. Okay. I can't even name one right now. I would have to show you. And in order to show you, I need to get into Teddy Bear's bin. And um, right now it's kind of buried, so I cannot name four flawless albums. I know that sounds horrible, but I'm not good with names and band albums. I'm not, I'm not like that. So I mean, so it makes me sound real bad. But I'm sorry, zombies. I can't name them. Oh, I'm trying to, but my mind is blank right now. 
Question 15. How many music-related videos, DVDs do you own? We own a few. Um, we have the documentary, The Decline of Western Civilization, if that counts. We have What We Do is Secret. We have... I'm trying to think of others that we have. I can't think of anything else that we own that's musically related. Now I know I'm gonna know, but darn it, zombies, I'm bad. I'm really bad at this, so I'm just gonna stay at the two. <laughs> In question 15, how many, okay, wait, did that one. Question 16, how many concerts slash shows have you been to? More than I can count. I've been going to them since I was real little. It started when I used to go when I was about 9 or 10, my brother used to play in a band. I used to go see his shows in other bands, and I can't even count. I've been to so many. Great times. <laughs> and then question 17. Who have you seen the most live? The most I've seen live would be GBH. And let me see what other band. I've seen GBH, and I've also seen... Oh my god. I'm trying to think. I've seen Black Flag, but I've seen. I've actually seen GBH a lot more than a lot of others. I'm trying to think there's more. Well, I can't think of any more, but GBH would be the one that stands out. I've seen them so many times live. Question 18, what is your favorite movie soundtrack? Train Spotting. Because they have this very, <clears throat> it would be Train Spotting and trying to think. Train Spotting and there's another one. I guess what we do is um, a secret because I love the germs. Oh, I also, yeah, and I would love to see the germs too. That's really messing this tag up, but whatever. Anyways, I would, um, <clears throat> we have What We Do A Secret, and I love the songs because, of course, it's from the band, and so they're from the band, so I would say that one. Uh, and Train Spotting because I love the Lou Reed song that's on there, and then there's some other songs that are on there that I like. Question 19. What was your last musical phase? What was your last musical phase before you wisened up? Now, I'm going to take that as, like, what did I listen to before I got into... Bef I've always, I mean, since I can remember when I was little, I listened to punk because of my brother and sister. They would always be playing songs or having bands play at the house and stuff like that. But I'm trying to think of something that I listened to that... I can't really think. The only thing that I had before I wisened up was I would listen to punk, and I still listen to punk, so... Yes, punk. <laughs> and what's your guilty pleasure that you hate admitting, admit, hate to admit to it liking? Sorry, my zombie. Katy Perry, um, like, like pop music because my zombie's into pop music and she likes Adele and all them and Taylor Swift and all that. So I find myself singing along to the music. <laughs> And I'm the one that um, before <laughs> I would make fun of it and I didn't like it. And then it turns out my zombie loves pop music. So just pop music in general, I'll sing along to the songs and all that good stuff. So that's what I'm ashamed of. No, I'm just kidding. That's just, it's my guilty pleasure. I'll even sing to it when my, when my zombie puts it on Pandora. And then I'm just singing along to the songs or at work. And I hear a song that she would listen to. I'll start singing it and, in my head and stuff. So that was the 20 questions. Thanks so much, Midnight Owl, for tagging me in this video. I did have a lot of fun, although I do sound very much like I don't know what I'm talking about. Pretty much is because I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. And also, um, let me see. That's all I have. So I hope you guys like this video. I love, I love all of my zombies. I love all of you. And I'll see you guys in the next video. And yeah, so bye.